I have a question. If this is the Ikar, if this is what we're here for, so I have a question. So how come every morning we say, Al no lo day, no? No lo day? Well, maybe that's what you're here for. But that's what you're here for. I don't say, I got a person, pray, Hashem, please give me that I shouldn't have the reason why I'm here. Imagine a person says to a doctor, please do me a favor. Please take, make sure that my heart doesn't work. I mean, honestly, you came to the doctor, the heart should work. You came here to this world, Lamod bin Isayon. So many Mepharshim say, the Gemara says, that a person should not ask for Nisyonis. The Gemara says in Sanhedrin, Daf Kuzayin Amir Aleph, La'aylam al Yovi Odom Atzmai Lidei Nisayin. You shouldn't come and make yourself have a Nisayin. I think there's a very big difference between davening that Hashem shouldn't give it to me and asking that Hashem should give me, right? I'm not, you're right. Does it say anywhere, Akadosh Baruch Hu, Na telin fuashlema. Na telin insionot. You're right. That, that I hear. We don't ask. But how can we daven? How can we pray the what? Not to give me nisayon. But if that's the whole taklita bariya, taklita kayim. So how can you say lo lide nisayon? Ah, see, he knows the one answer. That's the famous answer. It has to be the comma. You, have, you always have to pay attention to where the comma is. Lo lide nisayon. The bizayon of not being omed bin isayon. If you're omed bin isayon, it's great. But if you go in the streets of Manhattan and you're not omed bin isayon, it's the bizayon, it's Hashem Yishmael. It's Hashem Yishmael, it's Adam Nira, Kishu Kimogoi Balbachov. The problem with this is, doesn't really fit into the words. It should have said, Veloni de Nisayon, Upi Zayon. Seems like it's two things. Veloni de Nisayon, Veloni de Bizayon. It seems like it's two things, right? So I saw Reb Chaim Kanievsky gives a beautiful terrace. Beautiful terrace. Says Reb Chaim that there's two types of Nisyonis. There's Nisyonis which are out of the norm. Parshiot Bachayim which are strong. Difficult situations which are not normal. That we ask, but on a daily basis of Nisayon testing me, if I'm a Kayem Torah Mitzvah, Zevadai Chiyuvi, Velachem Banu Leolam. Is the Tirutz Yafe, Asheh Shezachinu, the God Ladar Kazesh, is the Tirutz Runatan. You hear the Territz? It's everything I spoke to you about. To come and say, I learned Torah. And it's easy. So what do you have? And they go, stay in your mother. You know what? Go back to your mother's stomach for that. It's It's testing. It's challenging. Remember the words I teach you. Challenge. A challenge of every day. Keeping Torah mitzvahs. We ask Hashem, don't give us something which we can't. It's out of the, but the normal, everyday difficulties and challenges for limud Torah, for kiyuma mitzvot, for tarat ha'inayim, shmirat ha'inayim. That's life. That's what we're here for. We're here for that. We're here for that. So we can't ask for that. This, Rabbi I believe, is the lessons. Parnasa is normal nisyonot. All the nisyonot that Avram Avinu went through, then life, life, chayim. I know you all like a nice kabbalistic word. What's the root, the shoresh of the word chayim? Maybe it's chay. Or maybe it's the two yuds in the middle. Maybe it's the Hashem. 
That's in the Chayim. Life. If it's with Hashem in it, that's life. A person thinks, Chayim. Ah, you ever see a guy that does nothing all day? You know what you ask him? What's that Chayim? He's making a little. What's that Chayim? What's that Chayim? What's that? You know what happens to that Chayim? Not very happy about it. <laughs> it doesn't bring very much happiness. Harotze lachyot, yamit atzmo. The Gemara says in Mesechet this time. You know, one of the most difficult things is to be able to live every day, to be inspired, bitorut. Bitlavut and not be miyuyash, not to be negative. These are big nisyonot. People think nisyonot, they, they, they have big diseases. You don't need big diseases for nisyonot. Nisyonot is daily nisyonot. Daily, daily, daily. I woke up, I'm not in the mood. I meet this guy, he's mean to me. I go to this wedding, they speak Lashon Hara. That's a Nisayon. Those are very big Nisayonot, and that's what we mean by the Chayim is Nisayon. One said something very inspiring. He says, all the books of the Gedele Yisrael that they write, he does not like. He doesn't like them. Why? So some always say, because eh, the stories are exaggerated. He didn't say that. He said something very unique. He said, the storybooks show you how the tzaddik, at the end of his life, had this attribute and had that attribute. But little do they show you growing up, the nisyonot, the difficulties that they had to achieve those things. He said, does the books write about the Chafetz Chaim that when he was 20 years old, he went to a wedding of a friend, he sat at a table, and everyone was speaking Lashon Hara. And the Chafetz Chaim, because he was pure, said, you know what, I, I don't want to hear that. And he turned around, and he didn't want to listen. And what do the other people at the table do? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> hey, from me, he's this, right? He's the antisocial. Yeah. His wife screamed at him. You came home from synagogue half hour late. What are you coming home half hour late for? Were you privileged? All the difficulties, the snagdut to doing what you have to do. That's Chaim. That's Nisyonot Chaim. That the books don't teach you. It's an unbelievable thing. We think the Chavetz Chaim was born the Chavetz Chaim. But the truth is, he was. That's the truth. And Aftali Trapp, Zechet Tzadik Levracha, said about the Chavetz Chaim, a difference between him and other Kedoshim and Tzadikim, he was Kadosh Mirechem. This is what he was, Kadosh Mirechem. But what does Kadosh Mirechem mean? You think he didn't have difficulty? You think they didn't have problems? We don't see the problems. We just see what? The end result. I'd like to give you a word of chizuk. All right? If life is about nisyonis, amad, what does the word amad bikulam mean? What does amad bikulam? You know what amad means? Withstood. The Sfat Emes says, Amida is always a lashon of tefillah. Al hamakom asher, amad. Avram went back to the place where he was standing. Chazal say, amad. What does amad mean? Tefillah. He went back to prayer. Amad bikulan, he prayed. He davened to Hashem. You know how you survive Yisurim, Nisyonot, difficulty. You daven to Hashem. You daven to Hashem. 
you dive into Hashem. Amadim, asara nisyonot nisnase Avram Avinu. Rabbi Chaim Valozhin explains nisnase Avram Avinu, that Avram is our father, as the father of Kali Yisrael. He had these nisyonot, and he instilled in us on how to live through them. As an av, it's bia. He was matbia. He put it into our genes on how to be omed bin Yisayon. Rabbi Chaim Velazhe says in another place, many Yidin, many Jews, went al Kiddush Hashem. They went into flames of Auschwitz and other <coughs> shmad inquisition. And we don't make them into Akedas Yitzchak like Avram and Yitzchak. Why is Avram and Yitzchak so special? They went on the Akedah. How many Jews, Akedah, sacrificed their children? Rabbi Chaim Balazhin says, of course Jews are able to do it. That's because Avram Avinu, he instilled it in Klal Yisrael. He instilled it within us. That we could be Oymet bin Isayim. No matter how difficult it is, we're able to do it. We're able to do it. Because we have good genes. You know, in English they have an expression. He he has good genes. My boys say we have good genes. Asara nisyonot nisnase Avram Avinu, Avinu, Avinu. As Avinu, he went through it and he instilled in Klal Yisrael the kuchot to be able to go through an Isayon. And what are the lessons that have to be taken from him? Vayam in Vashem. He had Amunah in Hashem, the Pasuk says. A lot of Amunah. Amad, Svasem says, Amad, Tfila, Amida, Tadam and Hashem. One of the Pshatim that the Mepharshim explain, Velo Lidei Nisayon. What's Lidei? Lo Nisayon. Don't bring me to a Nisayon. What's Lidei? that I fall into the hands of the Nisayon. Don't put me into the hands that I should fall in his hands of the Nisayon. I should overcome the Nisayon and not the Nisayon should overcome me. And we dam it Hashem for that. That's one of the pshatim. Don't put me in the hands of the Nisayon. Don't put me in the hands of the Nisayon. Which means it shouldn't have a grab. It shouldn't take hold of me. I should take hold of it. I should have shlita. Shlita. Over it. And not that it should be sholet. Over me. And that's also tefillah. So we have here vayamen emuna. We have over here the lesson of Omid bin Yisrael and tefillah. Now I'm going to teach you another lesson which I saw in the Chida. Something beautiful. Beautiful.